Welcome back to Brodsley Heroes with, can you believe it, two Terran players. And I don't think it's actually bronze. It's somewhat above that. But like, who really is bronze nowadays besides Masters Leaguers who got placed into bronze because Bobby screwed up the ranks? Either way, the real bronze league hero is the Blizzard intern. But let me introduce in the top right your Terran player in the red. Team red, team blue. All right, Twitch chat, pick a team. Root for your team. You're not allowed to switch sides or you'll be the worst, okay? So you just pick your team and you stick with your team. It doesn't matter. Sherpard. Sherpard. Shepard. Sherp Sherpa. Sherpa. Sher Sherp Sherpard. And of course, in the blue. Espartico. Or Sparta. E Sparta. For short, East Sparta Company. And Terran versus Terran, of course, but what better matchup to get all the shenanigans, all the drama, all the excitement, all the mistakes, all the misdemeanors, all the madness, and the mayhem, and the malice, and the Marines, and the Marauders, and the Medivacs, and the Mines. In the mind games. In the Minecraft. Quite a creative wall off from Espartico. Um is going for the reactor, preempting his orbital, which maybe not the most economically efficient, but is definitely gonna keep his opponent who has yet to scout guessing. On the other side, a one Rax expand of sorts from Sherpert. He's built a Reaper. He's keeping it nice and tucked in. So far, a passive game. Not unexpectedly. I'll have to see. The Marine trying to hide behind the barracks. Trying to avoid work duty. We've all been there. Just maybe you won't notice me. Did you know that before Legacy of the Void, the outline didn't exist? So you could even more realistically hide units behind, like barracks and stuff like it wasn't super easy but some units you could actually widow mines are notorious for this oh yes uh here we have the barracks into command center into reactor factory into double engineering bay into two more racks in the starport opener from sherpard which um, covers quite a series of bases, um, but also somehow just one simultaneously. Meanwhile, we have Marines guarding the perimeter. A little bit of add-on switcheroo, but unlike musical chairs, we just have another add-on kind of left out. Is he building another reactor? Okay. No, but he's gonna, then he's gonna build a barracks. Oh, wow. Macro-oriented. Both these players very creative in how they're going about their early game builds here. But with a trajectory and a direction that is is definitely unique uh, in StarCraft. Stim, combat, no, not combat, just, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, all over. Everyone knows, like, the real takeaway when you watch someone like Big Game is, is how much he switches around those buildings just to keep things interesting, mostly. Alright, well, the Siege Tank fires a shot. The Reaper Heli and Micro. The APM skyrocketing right now. Beautiful Micro from Sherpard. Denying the expansion, slipping by. A quarter Reaper of HP between them, but they heal. They heal! Oh, another tank is gonna Siege. As you know, tanks only allowed to attack while Sieged until you research unsieged mode from the tech lab. Two Widowmines gonna try to sneak down, but Sherper with beautiful micro thus far. The Widowmines are closing in now. The Widowmine gonna connect, takes out two. A single survivor. The tank trying to chase. Looks like he's finished unsiege mode. And oh, but wait, a Viking! 
Oh, the counter there. Three kills. The boys are pulled. The Viking is slaughtering. It, he jumps away, but the Marine, it doesn't go. The engineering bays are kind of a little bit in the way. The shark, not hungry. Not a space shark, just like a regular shark. A scan. Yep. Yep, he does have a base. The Viking just chilling. There's a raven. Ah, uh, the worker count exists. We have the marines. One one is done. Combat shield stim. Another Viking finished. Unfortunately, can't recall. Will he make it all the way to the corner? Oh. He gets him, knocks him down. But the double auto turret. Viking chasing. Two auto turrets doing a lot of damage. So far, Sherpert is, uh, well, it's hard to tell. They both have a different way of going about it. A scan. I. Okay, um, Sherpert successfully eliminates that area as a threat temporarily. Um, a third command center for both sides. Macro players. Okay, yeah, you gotta keep track of the sharks. Sherpert is moving out with an army. Meanwhile, back at home is Spartaco. He has Widow Mines. He's got that single tank locking things down. Medivac, Viking. I don't know. There's nothing for detection here. There's no armory. So the Widow Mine will be revealed after it fires. Assuming we get to that point. The, the, oh no, the Viking trying to scout the perimeter, but slammed by the mine. The tank coming in. Oh no, another mine. Decent split and or panic pickup. Sherpard. Oh, but look at this backstab potentially. Spartaco not panic. Oh, um, something's floating. Oh my. I'm not sure who's medevac that was. Oh, it was his Spartaco's medevac, which is interesting to note in this scenario. Tries to salvage the bunker. It's not enough. The two marines go out of the bunker directly into the medevac. An auto turret on the back. The vikings too late. The tank standoff continues. Boosts the marines. Slightly to the side. And drops them down. With purpose. The supply is still incredibly even. Evenly matched players here. Even if they have a bit of a different method of going about things, even if Espartaco, in order to pull off this Reaper her or this Raven Harass, now has 1,900 minerals in the bank, that's only because he's so good at multitasking. Um, meanwhile, Sherpert uh, is keeping his money low by simply not building many workers, which is a classic tactic here. Oh, the double liberator, the overlapping fields of fire here. Meanwhile, a medevac dropping out behind. Sherpard's army engaged from every side, up, down, and around, and loses everything. Setting that up was a whole deal here from his Spartaco, but a resounding victory. He takes his third in one of the locations. Um, drops that command center down. Inspired by the liberators of a Spartaco, Sherpert has some of his own. Sieges up the tank. Mm. And now, of course, it's a Spartaco's turn. It's his time to strike. Another command center being built and a gas geyser. Some more barracks. Oh, trying to come up the ramp. Liberator's not siege. Widow mines. Scan. Liberator. Widow mine. Liberator. Interference matrix. Viking. Liberator. Viking. Raven. Widow mine. Marines. Mar the, but the two marine drop into the main. The boys are Thor. 
Oh my god, Collector's Edition Thor! Because of course it is! Oh, the Marines are micro back, firing on the depot. The Thor distracted by the medevac, blasting through. More Vikings! Ah, uh, the beautiful collector's th Of course you're gonna go through. Like, you gotta get at least one. You gotta show off. I paid, like, $80 for this game in 2010. Yeah. What do you mean you're not even 10 years old? How do you have so much AP? I'm so... <clears throat> Well, plus one ship weapons is on the way. Plus two, uh, the Thor navigates through the base to find its way out. And now, of course, it's Sherpert's turn to attack. Oh, but a turret may ward away the Liberators. If they're not careful, looking to set up. Oh, a sensor tower. He scouted the turret with the Liberators, but he kind of lost track of the medevacs here. The Liberators are maybe not in the most ideal position. They're working on it. A tank. Vikings on the deck. The tank unsieges. The Viking saves the day against the Liberators. Planetary on the way. Vikings try to close in. Repair. Planetary 80% done. He picks up. Might be a bit late. More repair. Is Spartaco still doing a lot of damage? Takes out the medevac. Where are the reinforcements? The tank tries to siege a little on the late side of things. More SCVs are unsieges. Real optimistic on, on how quickly you can siege and unsiege here. But another tank, he's got two factories. This tank may make the difference. And he's Spartaco gonna be able to fall back all the way. And the Thor goes into high impact mode and stands menacing. Oh, nope. Knocks the command center down. And Sherford, with a decisive victory, will make it over the, the Viking on the chase. The thing he missed, though. Oh no, we're running out of minerals. What he missed was using the right announcer pack. But also the third base. Somebody get out of this mess. Two two, finishing up. Another Thor has popped out of the factory. Oh, the Vikings being chased. Well, now I gotta compare with the Spartaco. SCB ready. Up, ready to go. Spartaco playing SCB perfectly. Ready. Nola, a fusion! SCB oh, because of course, all roads lead to battle. Cruisers. His opponent took Thor's. He'll take the cruisers. Field As you know, the pick man phase. Very important in Terran versus Terran. We have... Okay, there's a lot of... Bil okay, the armory. Armory. Engineering bay. Fusion core. Engineering bay. Starports and mules. Both sides feeling like the damage has been done. This has gotten too hectic. We got to work on our late game compositions. Which, for Sherford, seems to be Thor Marine. And for Espartaco, is going to be tanks and battle cruisers. Assuming he's not just going to, like, go mass liberator or something. Um. Which, oh my god. Subverting my expectations, he starts advanced ballistics. But he is building tech labs over here, so... Scan? I'm... You know, I have no idea. Who's... I... I of course. This was a scan from his Spartaco to make sure his single medevac drop would be safe. As it gets to the main, it drags the whole army lumbering back. He makes sure that there's still space to work. And indeed there is, as Thors are not the most agile creatures. Oh, the Metamax targeted on both sides. The Thor a little less effective at it. Blasting through. Sherford drags, like, all 74 of his army supply back. Does he have a single Viking? 
He's building them now because that medevac cannot be left unpunished. A scan. Who knows? I, 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 I have no idea. Okay. All right. I'm, a scan. Oh, the medevac blasted by the Thors. We now have Raven Liberator in production after the fusion core. There's no core fifth react. Uh, the supplies still, as always in these heroic matches, surprisingly even. Rapid reignition systems. How many of you knew that one? Um, for medevac speed, the only thing Espartaco is missing to utilize that medevac speed is uh, medevacs. So... Well, the Liberators, they do have advanced ballistics. Fun fact, they have more ticks on this, as well as just being way further out. So obviously, Sherbert, he just jumps in! Only the Liberators are sieged! A bit of a disaster here. The Marines are getting underneath. The Thors are cleaning up a lot of the Liberators. The tanks, he stemmed underneath them. The reinforcements, and somehow, despite the semi-entrenched position of Espartaco, this fight is going to be near even as the Thors are blasting each other apart. Ezepartico ends up winning the day despite the fancy skin. Um, that was about as good as it ever could have gone for Sherpert. The tanks were not sieged. The Liberators were all stacked up, so easy enough to run by. Alright. The Thor is at like 1 HP. Unsiege is the tank! The Thor is chasing Hanky! What's that thing? <laughs> they both notice the HP of the Thor at the same time. But it is saved. A single SCV tasked with repair, which seems like, you know, like a bit of an undercommitment, but. gives him time for some chastising. Uh, Alright, everybody calm down. And now the game begins. We've just... The, the the openers have played out, and now we go into the mid-game. 127 supply across the board. Thor is still wandering out. A Has... has Sherpert built... He's built two tanks. He lost both of them. He gave up on the whole idea. He's building some starports of his own, but there's one building. There's one building he has yet to construct. A core building. We'll have to see. And more factories. Scan. I, I have no idea. Oh my god, Thor drop! I don't know. Uh, ignore the scans. Thors are dropping into the whatever base this is. Um. Oh, no. That. 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 Well, and he gets out. <laughs> oh, but spotted. Yep. There they are. Get them, boys. Unfortunately, those are... Those are rapid re... Those are medevacs with speed. Good luck catching those. Not only do they have a quicker boost cooldown, but they have a higher base speed. They can literally just outfly everything. So, the speed-boosted Thor drop. Well, unfortunately, he's kind of led Sherpard's army into the base that was hidden. Oh, the planetary laying into things. Repair, but he doesn't have building armor. He doesn't have the high sec auto tracking, and that's a lot of DPS coming out. Meanwhile, uh, now this is Broad's League Heroes. Both sides building turrets within very much vision range of each other. Underneath multiple sensor towers. The TPM, the turrets per minute, continues to race. The Thors drop into the battle. The tank's still on siege. He will siege them. The planetary backstop holds it together. The Thors and Marines. An unlikely combination, but they're both committing to it. Espartaco only has plus one infantry attack and plus two armor. Compared to Sherpert at 3-3 three, three infantry and plus two ground weapons and plus one ship weapons. So he, he's uh, also some battle cruisers are out. Um, by the way, Thor's, uh, if, uh, 
More upgrade. Oh no, he flew over the very, very obvious turrets, but he does manage to drop the Thor out. Oh, it's going down! Oh my god! Oh, wait, what? I guess plus two is just that good. It is a lot of damage. It scales with, with the damage. So Thor's... the cut, And also that six skin is really what... Yeah, sure, better upgrades, but visually, that's the real upgrade. Look how sick those Thors are. Yeah. Sure, we're now 50 supply ahead. Quite a dramatic difference. Yamato Cannon and Blue Flame for a Spartaco. That's a lot of Thors. We've got 10 Thors and 48 Marines with a handful of medevacs. That's the army. Whereas you have the full variety pack for your Spartaco. He's got a Thor, 52 SCVs, two medevacs, a Hetlian, a Liberator, eight tanks, five Marauders, five Marines, three battle cruisers. Oh, there goes some Marines. Ah. Uh, it appears Sherpert is trying to blockade his Spartaco. But the SCVs are sick and tired of it. Not in my backyard, they say. Well, they will kill the turret, so mission accomplished. The battle cruisers are on the field. Thor's in high impact mode, a pretty solid counter to battle cruisers. <clears throat> There's a that that's a planetary. The tanks are sieged. Battle cruisers hanging out the Medivacs are boosting from somewhere. Thor's wandering away. Oh, the army. Stimming into siege tanks. Even more tanks. The Thors are not quite able to close the distance yet. The bio army is gone. The tanks are laying in a bunch of even more Thors. Uh, it's just not enough tanks. But the battle cruisers! Ah, the battle cruiser pentagram! The pentacruisers jumped into the main. One of my favorite formations, of course. Yamato, fuck that depot in particular, says the battle cruiser captain. And his crew is way too scared in order to say anything. Alright, all right, the battle cruiser. Yeah, the, what What now? Yeah, the, oh, no, that depot. Sir, I, you know, no, before Rodney, stop. Stop. I'm the captain. Okay, I have the captain's hat. I tell you what to Yamato. Shut up, Rodney. Okay. Well, battle cruisers. Fire the cannons! Oh, the Thors! They went the wrong way! Thors cannot fly. Especially without uh, rapid reignition thrusters medevacs. Vikings. Tactical jump is still is up in 10 seconds. These battle cruisers may not make it ten more seconds. Ah, it's so close! The Vikings are chasing. He can jump. Four out of five. Oh no, a turret! No! Ah! Oh, they jumped into no! No! Oh, almost got two. He jumped blindly into a turret. Alright, the supplies are even. Alright. <clears throat> Liberators. Quite good against the Thors. Oh, the Metavex, but the double siege plus battle cruiser. The worker counts are, are dipping. The supplies are dead even yet again. Vikings. Uh, okay. All right. It looks like the rally points are a bit all over the place. Vikings heading home. The battle cruiser fleet, mostly repaired or or new. The Thors are, you know, not as small as they used to be. They're downsides to the collector's edition skin. He's Spartaco's almost out of gas. Sherpert has money in the bank, but he's focused on raising that TPM, a worthy goal. Their base is kind of around scans. 
There are hellbats now, which, you know. Uh, he jumps. In okay. Uh well here we are. Rodney. There are depots. The Thors are not coming back anytime soon. Those depots. Feeling the heat. And the tech labs as well. As he unleashes a volley of Yamato cannons. A couple Vikings come out. The Thors are wandering back. Sherpard forced to make more depots at the front, which are actually, I think, walling off the, the Thors here. Oh. What? Down goes one Viking. The Thors are wandering back. The battlecruisers are dismantling the entire production. Which is, you know, not great. Fuck that depot. All right. The Marines will stem, but maybe get one. Oh, micro! Uh, oh, oh, ish. The Marines stem in and, and manage to expedite their death to the battlecruisers. Battlecruisers fly away, which, you know, like, because they're battlecruisers is what kind of what they do. Which does make things difficult as the Thors now have to come all the way back out. The turrets! A real danger. Yamato. Marines. Jump! He jumps home to where he knows there are no enemy turrets. A very tactical jump. And Isparco is making huge moves right now. That jump dismantled Sherpard's production. Sherpard will rebuild it in exactly the same spot. Though, despite everything, Isparco has lost 4,000 more gas. Sherpard has lost 4,000 more minerals. But so far, no one has lost the game. 27 minutes, and we're not very much closer to figuring out how this ends. A marauder. Mapped over with the orbital. Morbitals. As well, to the north. The battlecruiser is repaired. A bunch of ravens, which could be a huge help. As long as he doesn't right-click his siege tanks pack the, past the entire army. Unfortunately, the scouting siege tanks are kind of getting in the way. Here come the ravens! Alright. Um, but what's he gonna do? Alright. Oh, interference matrices! He scrambles over half the Thors! The BCs will chase. Yamato is up. But there are no depots in sight. He deemed... Oh, he jumps. He Yamato's into tactical jump into the main where he will drop mules to repair. But the Vikings... Not target firing perfectly. More Yamato. He Spartaco holds it together. The, the sheer amount of marines. He's going to see the Thors are lumbering back. The production is once again, once again besieged by the battle cruiser. As the Thors, there are just turrets across the field. Six more racks are being produced by Sherpard. Oh my god. The battle cruisers. Tactical jump is a long way off. But he can kind of just fly away, so there's that. At some point, the main bay. Oh no, he's wandering a little close. The, the mules abandoned. The Thors will take out their anger. A scan, but oh my god, a flank. What a micro god. Yamato. Two shots, one kill. The battlecruiser count dwindling. Down to two. Another Thor, though, taken out. The supplies, almost even. And, and the Hellbat Marine Army. Wait, this is, this is Sherpard's base. Uh. The, okay, um. Uh, well, the Thors, the battlecruiser jumped to this side, where it will encounter a turret, which is a deadly enemy, but more mules will, mules are just kind of everywhere. Here come the Thors. 
a scan, but the Thors are from the back. The Marines are trying to get in front. Hellbat's not great against Thors, but... Oh, the Thors trying to target the tank, but they get closer to the Marines! The mules... Easily distracted. Um, Battlecruiser still exists. Thors coming up. More Thors. 81 supply. Battlecruiser, 44 kills. Marines killing Thors, but more Thor. That one tank is really laying in a lot of damage here. Oh, the tank! The Thor! No! Move command! The Battlecruiser! The, the, wait, this base is still mining! I. Now he's building. You know you can't build Marines without a reactor. Alright, that's a science fact. More Thors. If those Collector's Edition Thors don't get the job done, I don't know what will. There's also some Cyclones in production for flavor. Oh, the Marine Stim. Maybe a couple too many times. Ah, da, da. The Battle Cruiser. Another mule was dropped to repair. Another orbital targeted. Marines on the base. The Thors are pushing back. Hey, uh, like four Marines of HP will, will move their way down. East Spartaco will take out another orbital. The battle cruiser is still intact. More Marines in production for both sides. East Spartaco consolidating his economy. The production is now about as safe as it's going to get from battle cruisers. East Spartaco, it's a tactical jump is up. It's too late. The battle cruiser goes down. The linchpin of the defense has been destroyed. <laughs> Grab some minerals and got out. Well, and the supplies are about even. One fifteen to one thirteen. The army supply heavily in favor of Sherbert. East Partico remembering upgrades exist. <laughs> the tank No the stamp the tank Oh no! Oh, no! Oh! God damn it! God fucking damn it! Oh! oh my god! Get out of the way! What the fuck, guys? Um, the traffic jam. He salvages the bunker to solve it. Which is, you know, and he stims again. Uh, uh, I don't... He moved the orbital to another base and is now long-distance mining from the planetary. Uh... Well, Morbidal's on the way. And Marines wandering on either side. Scouting tanks been a theme of this game. He Spartaco needs a resounding victory. He needs it. It's looking rough for him. Ever since the battle cruisers went down, it's been a it's been a less than ideal situation for the blue team. Another... I don't know where he's getting the money for all these command centers. Another scouting tank. He's trying to be careful with them. Careful. He doesn't stim. So, very proud. 333 is finishing for, you know, some of the stuff. Brings out a couple more SCVs to repair. Both players struggling to, you know, have any money. He is Spartaco with a uncomfortably standard army. He's gone through so many army compositions and landed on Marine Tank, which is quite a journey. He went from, like, Widow Mines, to Liberators, to Ravens, to Battle Cruisers, to Hellbats, and he's, it's with Thors, and now he's making Marine Tank. But is it too late? 
the scans. Looking. Not fine. I, I don't. I don't have any yet. Okay. Sherbert has managed to consolidate his forces. He's at 170 supply. He's even got some medevacs. The tanks will siege. Kind of an awkward concave, but no tanks at all for Sherbert here. This is it. Potentially the final battle. All the Vikings died, and most of the speed medevacs will... They'll survive. The severe lack of tanks is a big deal here. Oh, the tanks will siege. He has a sensor tower right there. The marine count is damn high. The maxed out upgrade. The tanks are a huge deal. Sharper trying to press in, but East Spartaco's tanks just ripping into him. Those Thors. There's not even that much money to repair them. The sensor tower really... Oh my god, where are you going with those? He picks up four medevacs. It... it <laughs> joy riding. And then he just drops them out. Um, because immediately reconsiders what his priorities are. Uh, more scans. Is that a sensor tower? The sensor towers have been paying off for East Spartaco. The tanks have been kind of getting it. You gotta siege those tanks! Oh my god, not again! Oh no, all but one tank. Well, two tanks. I really thought he would kill that one. The scout, the tanks on move command have been the bane of East Spartaco. He's only got two tanks left. And Sherpert has has stooped himself. Built a tank of his own, doubling the count. Espartico is mining. There's only so many Sherpert actually still has a pretty comfortable income. At 2k. That's at least two bases of mining. What an experience. Oh, is he on move command? That's the question. Tanks on both sides. They'll siege. There is a planetary. SCV's on the run. The tank's getting some volleys in on the Thors. He's gonna pick up a tank into the medevac. In order to maneuver it. The Spartaco is out of money. He's not really mining right now. The production tab is useless. Down to 13. He's about to be at less SCVs than he started with. The tanks are unseaged! Ah! We could use some help here. Couldn't we? Oh no. Is this how it ends? After all these epic battles, is Spartaco just unable to keep up with the macro engine of Sherbert? Eight SCVs. Seven. Six. Five decides, you know what, wait a second. He's building four SCVs at a time, but where are you gonna mine from? Oh no, two tanks from Sherbert. A scan secures a Thor kill. Both looking each other in the eye. The the continued scans. There's still plenty of orbital. An orbital is coming from somewhere to land over in one of the middle bases. But Sherbert just has too much money, I think. Oh no, the medevacs pick up. Um The base is dying. The last two medevacs. Where are they going? Um, they will speed their way forward. 
Oh no. What if... Okay, I thought he was just gonna fly over. This might be worse. The SCB comes to me. It's still on repair. Its job isn't done. Gonna stim forward into the tanks. Into glory. Uh, unfortunately, not nearly enough. Ugly! Ugly! A single jet! That is definitely a unique, much like almost all of the plays in this entire game. A unique end and a unique, uh, I'm not even sure if insult is the right word, but after 27 Thors, 88 SCVs, after nearly 50,000 minerals and 10,000 gas, and then 45,000 minerals and 17,000 gas, and not even mining out the map, no! The economy shattered like the armies. And at the end of the day, it is Sherpard who survives. His tenacious Thors, his dogged reliance on walking back to the main and hoping the battle cruisers don't kill everything in the process. It might be ugly, or it might be beautiful. But either way, I hope you enjoy. You like. You subscribe, you check out this video as well, or the Bronze League Heroes playlist, because at the end of the day, even if they are not in the Bronze League, I think this match truly embodied Bronze League Heroes. Thank you for watching. I hope I made your day a little bit better. Good luck. Have fun. Stay tuned.